Hello, everybody. This is Gleaming Colt. Back with another my video. Today, we are making... Today's video is how to build the SS Europa in Minecraft in a 1 to 5 scale. Before we get into the tutorial, I'd like to tell a brief history of the SS Europa. The SS Europa, later the SS Libertir... IMO 560732 was a German ocean liner built for the Norddeutsche Lloyd Line, L NDL, to work the transatlantic sea route. She and her she and her sister ship Brenham Brenham Bremen, sorry, were the two of the most advanced high speed high speed steam turbine o ocean vessels in their day, with both earning the blue ribbon. After World War II, the French line was awarded the SS Europa as a war prize to replace the destroyed Normandy, which had caught fire and capsized at her, mo ca capsized at her moorings while interned by the United States in, the, in, New, York, in New York City. The Europa was re refitted at Le Havre, Le Havre, Le Havre, Le Havre sorry, and re-christianed Christianed the Lippard. Liberty, serving until the arrival of the SS France in 1961 as the premier liner of the Compagnie's Com fleet. She was laid up in 1962 and scrapped at Las Spasia in Italy in 1963. So with the history done, let's just show off the SS Europa and Minecraft. Over here, we got the bow. Um, pretty very um, bland over here. Um, I did look up a model for references, and a lot of this was model reference. And then we got the rigging that goes up here. In this tutorial, I will not explain how to build the rigging. I'm just not going to do that. I'm sorry, that's not going to be the case. Up here, we move on to the bridge and the superstructure. The bridge looks pretty nice. You got some carpet. And then we got Europa's shortened funnels. And then as we continue along, yes, very bland, very bland superstructure. Everything's pretty bland-ish. I know, it's, it's a little bland. But again, this is what I could get from a model kit. Then we have here the back. Here's the back of the superstructure. And then we have the stern with the sign saying Europa. I did not put, I put the port of, I did not, I left out the port of registry on purpose, actually. So, the SS Europa. So, before the, before the, we start this tutorial, I'd like to say this. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below your feedback. I'm always reading your guys' comments. And join up on my Discord. So, let's begin on layer one of the SS Europa tutorial. In the first layer of the SS Europa tutorial, you're starting with the draft of the ship, which the draft is the red section. Basically, if you don't know how I'm going to do this, basically one side will be built off camera and one side will be built on camera. Well, technically I've already built the first layer, which is going to be the first layer of the draft. So if you come over here, you want to start with one, two, three, four, Five red terracotta blocks followed with, at the top with a stair. Then we move outwards. We add a brick stair and a brick slab. Follow that by one, two, three, four, five, six red terracotta blocks back. Followed by a brick stair and two brick slabs. Next we go then we want to make a line of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen block ter red terracotta blocks back. Then we want to put in one stair, then two slabs, followed that up by a skeleton skull. Then you want to put down one, two, three red terracotta blocks, and then you want to put down a stair and a slab. Then you want to put down a 
skeleton skull, and then let me just remove this for you just to make it easier. You then want to add one, two, three. Was it three? Yes, three red terracotta, red terracotta blocks, followed with a brick stick. When you're done with that, you can fill out, fill up the entire ship. You can fill in the bottom of the ship with red terracotta if you want. With that done, we have finished layer one, and we will move on to layer two. All right, with layer one done, we are moving on to layer two. In layer two, we are continuing on the draft. So to start with layer two, you want to have a line of four red terracotta blocks. Just basically tracing the ship at the front. Just tracing it. Follow Then on the side, you want to put one brick stair. Follow that up by one, two, three, four, five red, terrac red terracotta blocks. Basically what we did at the bottom. And then you want to follow up by two brick stairs. You then want to add ba all ter red terracotta blocks until we hit the last stair block, the, 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 the slab that's right here. So for the propeller, you want to play, that's where you place the ter red terracotta block. We then put a brick stair, brick slab, followed in words by two red terracotta blocks, then one slab, one slab, and to make this easier, one red terracotta blocks, one terracotta block, with followed by two brick slabs. We have officially finished layer two, and we have finished the draft of the ship. Let's move on to layer All right, three. Alright, with layer two done, we'll move on to layer three. In layer three, we are starting to work on the black section of the ship, the main hull of the Europa. What we want to do, place three black concrete blocks, then go outwards with one black stone slab. Now, it has to be only black stone. If you want, you can use black and any other type or of, you know, black. And if you're doing this on a, if you're making this tutorial on a world with 1.12 without 1.14 on, you can just use, you know, nether brick. So, follow that up with one, two, three, four black concrete blocks, followed in by a black stone slab. You then want to basically, again, trace the top section of the ship. Pretty, pretty standard. Actually, very simple. So, here we go, to the very end of the ship. So, basically, end it right there. Then you want to add two black concrete blocks, a black concrete block, and a black stone slab. That is layer three of the SS Europa tutorial. Let's move on to layer four. All right, with layer three done, we can move on to layer four. In this layer, we are finishing off the black section of the ship. To start it off, place down two black concrete blocks. On the second black concrete block, add two dark oak buttons. Follow that up with one, two, three, four black concrete blocks. Follow that in with a black stone stair. Then, and then here comes the easy part. All you gotta do is just trace the bot the last layer. Like that's it. Like that's that's all you gotta do. You just gotta you just have to trace the bottom layer of the ship. Like it's not that hard. Including there. Um, and if you wanna add the nameplate, pretty simple. Take a dark oak sign and type in Europa. Go. Hopefully, I pronounced that correctly. Read that correctly. Did I do that? Yeah, I did. Take a yellow die and die it. With that done, what you want to do now is fill in the entire deck with oak wood. I'm gonna do that off camera. So, without with layer four done, pretty much all you gotta do, all what you guys have to do is fill in the black is. Fill in the um, 
the deck with oak wood, or if you want any type of wood, if you get, I guess. But I'd prefer, preferably oak. But with layer four done, let's move on to layer five. All right, with layer four done, we will work on layer five. Real quick, before we work on layer five, I just like to say if I seem annoyed, it's because it's been I've literally had to remake this layer five, six, I don't even know how many times. Whatever. Alright. Starting off with layer four five, you place down a a smooth quart slab stair and a smooth quart slab. Follow that up with five oak wood oak wood slabs. On the sides of the, the first three. You put down smooth quartz slabs. Follow that up with one, two, three, four smooth quartz slabs. Add three oak slabs on the sides. Then in the middle, you place in one smooth quartz block, followed by a second smooth quartz block, and then a third smooth quartz block. Move to the stern. We, in the middle, add an iron bar. Then add three oak pressure plates. Then put five then at the end of those pressure plates add one two three four five Sla smooth quartz slabs then on the sides you want to add one two one two um, one two one two and then in the middle just fill it in with slabs now with smooth quartz blocks Add five smooth quartz blocks in the back. And then, basically, take your smooth quartz blocks and make sure you place them until they connect to the very first smooth quartz block you placed. Right there. Then fill in the entire deck space with oak planks. And if you're watching this video, please pause the video if you ever feel like you have made a mistake. Or if you ever need to. Making sure... You get the ship right done the first time is very key. The last thing you do, we do before we end layer 5 is we place down blackstone buttons on the side of the quartz blocks that you just placed. If you do not have access to smooth quartz buttons, then I suggest you use stone or dark oak wood buttons. But there we go. With layer 5 done, we can move on to layer 6. Alright. Now that we're done with layer 5, we can work on layer 6. With layer 6, you want to go to your the bow section, starting in the midship. Basically, on the quartz blocks you've placed, on top, in the middle, place a oak pressure plate, follow that with a birch fence for the mast. And then you want to basically add two oak pressure plates, just like that. Pause the video here if you need to see that. It's not that hard, actually. Then you want to add a piece of string on the block behind the pressure plate. There's a reason for that. Then you want to add three smooth quartz blocks at the front, right here, like this. And then add polished blackstone buttons there. Let's go back. Let's go to the start of the ship. Place down a total. Of starting from here, you want to place one, two, three, four smooth quartz blocks, and then you want to place blackstone polished blackstone buttons, two on the side like he right here, and one right there. Then you want to place down. Then you want to actually. Add another smooth quartz block. Put that in with a button. And then a smooth quartz stair. Then around everywhere that you can place. Everywhere that you can with blocks. Pressure plates. The next thing you want to do is take your one smooth quartz stair. And whoop, 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 whoop. Nope, nope. <laughs> Sorry. Then you want to basically take smooth quartz stairs and align them all the way 
till you get to the place where the string was placed. And then fill in the entire area with decking. And you should be good. Alright. That was layer 6. Alright. With layer 6 done, we can move on to layer 7. Layer layer 7 and layer 8. Maybe just layer 7. I don't know. With layer 7 and the final layer, it might not look like the final layer, but trust me, it is, because I'm filling everything in, because if I wanted to make a layer 8, it would just be way too small. So, with layer 7, the final layer, what we want to do is finish everything off. First, we'll start here with the mask. You want to add on top of the first birch fence, one, two, three, four more birch fences. Coming back that, coming backwards, you want to place in the middle three smooth quartz slabs. On the sides of those, add some two white carpets. At the back, all right. At the back of the slabs, you add two yellow terracotta blocks. And then you add on the side two smooth quartz slabs on either side of the funnel. And you want to go back one, two, three, four, five. Smooth, yellow terracotta. Same thing we did in the, the first funnel. And then go back twice. Smooth quartz slabs. I mean, skip two spaces. Add a smooth quartz slab. On the sides here, add two oak pressure plates. Moving backwards again, we add a birch fence, and then two oak pressure plates. On top, and then, all you gotta do then, is then one, two, three, add three birch fences. One, two, three. Then what you wanna do is grab two, four black carpets, and we're gonna finish off the funnels. So... What do we do? We add two more yellow terracotta blocks at the top, and then wool carpets at the top. Like so. When you finish that, you will be done with your SS Europa tutorial. If you weren't wondering why I didn't do the rigging, um, I will make a short later on on how to make the rigging for the SS Europa tutorial. And then you can just go to that short or video. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. And you can just follow the rigging tutorial. So it's not part one, but you've got the SS Europa. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment down below your feedback. I'm always reading you guys' cons, and I personally like reading them. And join up on my Discord server. We're always having a lot of fun there. And yeah, um, that is it for today's video. Goodbye.